Nubian Haitian. What's up guys? I hope you guys enjoyed part one of my video. It wasn't really crazy. It didn't get crazy until after we got to the hotel from um, the Museum of Sex. And if you guys ever are in Brooklyn, you guys should check that museum out. It's actually really educational. <laughs> but yeah, um, overall, I just wanna say that I had a great time and I appreciated my friends that came and you know, did all of the stuff that they did for me. I did appreciate that. And whatever I said, it's my side of the story. If anybody's offended, hit me up. You know, just, yeah. But let's get into it. Okay, so when we got to the museum, it was actually really fun. Everybody was having fun. We um, jumped on the little titty bouncer thingy. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but it was so much fun. Okay, so we did that, and then we headed back. We headed back to the hotel. Yeah, we headed back to the hotel. And um, when we headed back to the hotel, we had decided that we were going out to eat. Cause me, my best friend, Julia, sorry, I'm being nosy. Not for me. Me, my best friend, Julia, and um, I think that was it. Oh, and my other best friend, Martasia, we decided that we were gonna buy outfits because they wanted, a, we just wanted to have a birthday dinner. So we bought the outfits for that in Delaware when, and then went to New York. So I was like, okay, I have my outfit. I wanna go out to eat. I wanna do all of that stuff. So that was the plan. But then by the time we got to the hotel, it was really late because mind you, we were on, we were at Woodside. Yeah, we were at Woodside in Queens and the museum was in um, Brooklyn. So if anybody knows anything about New York, like you have to take the train. I think we took two trains to get back to where we needed to go. Um, to the hotel so okay so we get to the hotel and then um we're like everybody was like okay mind you we're <laughs> we're turned because we already started drinking so then we're just like all right we're just gonna get ready to go to the club my friend we're gonna call him Bob my friend Bob lives in Long Island and he decided that he was gonna come to get us to go to a party it was last minute so he was just like all right I'm gonna join in so he was gonna come to um to the like to the hotel to pick us up and because it was like so much of us my other friend Nate he brought his car and I think our plan was we were gonna get an Uber because he didn't want to drive around in New York, which is understandable. So the plan was we're gonna get in an Uber, half of us get in an Uber, half of us get in Eric's car. Okay, so everybody's getting dressed, everybody's having a good time, regardless of the fact that I left my makeup home and I had to finesse the heck out of my makeup. So yeah, so that happened and then we were just like, okay, we're just gonna, you know, do what we gotta do, have a good time, blah, blah, blah. Cool. So we um, get dressed, and then I forgot how it all surfaced, because mind you, we all were drinking. So I honestly think that all of this happened mostly because we were drinking, but we all were drinking, and then um, um, my one of my friends, I'm not gonna say who, where who was in the beef and all of that i'm sure you guys will figure it out but whatever but one of my friends that was there we'll call her tiffany tiffany wanted to take a picture with me because after we got dressed and i was just waiting for everybody to finish getting dressed tiffany wanted to take a picture with me so me and tiffany was taking a picture my other friend tara <laughs> <laughs> Where am I coming up with these names? Okay, my other friend Tara, she was like, um, I don't know what she said or how the situation happened, because mind you, like I just don't know. Okay, so that so they were they there was tension already between them before we even got there. And mind you, before we came to New York, I specifically said to both of them because I hung out with them separately, and I said, Listen, it is my birthday. I have a whole bunch of things going on for like in my life and I just want to have a good day on my weekend you know and that's understandable so I said that I was like it's my birthday I just want everybody to have a good time so please just leave the drama at home cool Tara tried her best to keep the drama at home Tiffany to me was throwing a lot of shots at Tara 
So I didn't say anything because I was just like, all right, we're just going to have a good time. So Ta Tiffany wanted to take the picture. We took a picture and she felt like Tara said something to her or whatever the situation was about her taking a picture with me or whatever it was. So Tiffany retaliated and Tiffany just went off. And then Tara got pissed off. So Tara was like, yo, Cass, listen. I'm just gonna step out because I, I don't have time for the BS right now. Um, there was a, it was just, it was just, you know, getting out of hand. So then I took, I spoke to Tiffany and I was like, yo, like, what are you doing? That's messed up. Leave her alone, blah, blah, blah. Why are you doing that? It's my birthday, blah, blah, blah. She went off on me. Long story short, we got into it. We started arguing, tried to fight each other. We, we it. It just got crazy. It got crazy. And um, in the midst of it all, my friend Julia, she was trying to tell me to be quiet. Like she was like, all right, Cass, you need to calm down. And I felt like she was coming for me. So I was like, yo, you shut the F up. Like I told her, shut the F up. And that was wrong, I know. But I told her that. And she was offended and so she left. And me, I'm sitting here going off because I'm pissed off at this point because Tiffany told, said something along the lines of, niggas wanna act, act hard when they're drunk. Disclaimer, never been the type to have liquor courage. If I'm gonna act hard, I'm gonna act hard. Drunk or sober, I'm going to act hard. I still love her though, but I just felt like I needed to put that out there. But anyway, so yeah, she said that and it pissed me off. It really pissed me off. And she also said, she it, a whole bunch of mean stuff was said to each other. It, it just got out of hand. And so I, I go and I'm thinking about everything that's going on. So I'm like, all right, I shouldn't have snapped on Julia. I need to find where Julia is. So I go and find Julia and I see Julia talking to Tiffany. I'm like, yo, you're my best friend. You met Tiffany through me. You don't even know her like that. So why are you speaking to her and not checking if I'm okay? So I get upset and I'm like, yo, so that's your best friend? I'm petty. Everybody knows I'm petty. I can't help it. I'm trying. I mean, after this week, that weekend that happened, I'm trying. Okay. So I was like, yo, that's your best friend now. Julia gets upset. Julia goes upstairs to, um, cause we, they were at the stairs of the hotel. So she goes up the stairs and she's like, yo, I can't believe this shit. All this shit is happening. Blah, blah, blah. My friend Nate's trying to defuse the situation. So Julia goes outside and she calls her mom and she's telling her mom she wants to go home. Um, I'm trying to go back upstairs. I'm like, yo, I'm not saying the right things. All right, all right, calm down, Castle. I'm going upstairs. Tiffany grabs me and she's like, yo, you need to calm down. So I get up in her face and I'm like, you worry about your best friend and I'm gonna worry about my best friend. How about that? So <laughs> when I tell this story, I see how childish everything is. But anyway, yeah, so I tell her that and then she's just like, yo, okay, so she she does that so we, we're going through it the whole entire night the only thing that i re, like me and julia we um resolved the situation that night we had a conversation and she apologized i apologized you know it took us a while because at, at first i was like yo i don't want to be a friend anymore bro but i knew that was a liquor talking because that's the, i love that girl death but that happened and we we calm like we all calmed down but for some reason, I guess because me and Tiffany are two prideful people, when it comes to each other, we did not want to, like, there was no calming anything down. So she went to sleep and then um, I was like, all right, so my birthday's ruined. I didn't get to do anything. I didn't even get to go out to the club because the night before we were supposed to go out, we didn't go out. So, okay. I was just like, all right, whatever. And my friend, he had already came from Long Island. He's just like, yo, what the heck is going on? And I had to explain everything to him. So I go outside and then um, um, Tara comes and Tara's like, yo, I'm sorry. And she starts crying, love her to death. But she starts crying and I start crying. And then I like, it just felt like, cause I've been going through so much. I, like, I just, put all of my anger towards everybody so she starts crying and she's like yo I really want you to have a good time we came all the way down up here and I just want us to have a good time so she apologized and she's like all right um um Tiffany and my and Tasia Martasia they already decided that they're gonna go to sleep and I'm not going to not go to a party because 
they did not want to go. I'm sorry, but that that's just how it's like, you don't want to go and I'm beefing with you. Tasia, I already knew she wasn't going to go. Like she, at, at this point, she was just like, yo, I have two kids. I don't have time for this. Like, and that's understandable. I get it. I get it. But with Tiffany, she felt some type of way because I had went to the party with everybody else and I left her. But if I'm not fooling with you and you're not fooling with me why would we be clubbing together especially if you put out your bed and you're like i'm going to sleep i'm not about to wake you up and be like yo let's go party when you're not fooling with me am i wrong we go we all go out to to the club we all have fun i honestly can't even tell you what happened at the club because by that point i was turn uh, 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 uh. but i knew i was i was i was i was doing all of that but yeah so um we went out and then we came back and then i puked in the bathroom though but <laughs> yeah that happened and then the next morning we woke up and everybody wanted to act like nothing happened i'm the type of person i i don't like to do that but since everybody we were waking up to leave and everything and it was just we just had to carry all this luggage to go back to um manhattan to catch the bus I was like all right i'm not i'm not worried about it so we all we're all speaking and all of this stuff and we're lost like we're all just having like we're all talking you can see that the tension is there but we're trying to diffuse the situation so nobody's gonna bring the situation up cool but i still felt some type of way because regardless of who was wrong i don't have a problem with admitting where i was wrong that's never been a problem for me but for a person to act like they did nothing wrong and to bring out what i did wrong i don't appreciate that but that's later so we're all we're all just you know trying to figure out how to get home because mind you we had all this luggage on us we had to take the train did we take the train yeah we had to take the train from queens to manhattan and then walk from manhattan from um i don't know if you guys know where pennsylvania hotel is in manhattan right by the um union station i think that's is it union station yeah i think it's union station yeah by um right in front of there to where the chinese buses are and for us we had took the the wrong turn because i didn't remember where it was i only remember it from a certain standpoint and i thought that's <laughs> we were just lost but yeah we got lost and um we're walking with all of this luggage like it literally took me two days to get my body back together because i was in so much pain y'all but yeah we got lost and then we finally found the place and we got on the bus and we're all just you know tired so everybody falls asleep we leave we leave we um get to delaware we're in wilmington and we're like you know getting something to eat and everybody's just quiet on the bus and okay so we go home and i'm not i'm everybody's asking me how the party went and i mean how my weekend went and i told people i was just like all right like it it it, it was flip floppy because it regard like not only was i having problems with people that was at the party i was also having problems with people from back home so that was just it was just uh but yeah hey, i totally forgot the part about where we went to oh my gosh i gotta find the paper hold on make sure to get the paper just in case y'all want to know listen listen so when we left um the plate we were trying to find somewhere to eat before we left uh, the hotel. So we have all of our luggage with us and we had to walk about 14 to 15 minutes um, to find a place to eat. Cause I swear we were in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where we were. I'm, my family's from Queens and I've never been to that side. It was just a whole bunch of um, Bangladesh people. So yeah, so they were there. And then we went to this diner called Jack's Inn. It's in, we were in Jackson Heights. Oh, cool, I never realized. Okay, Jack's Inn, Jackson Heights, ha ha ha. Okay, so yeah, we went there um, to the di Jackson Diner and we walked in, My no, matter of fact, it took us about 25 to 30 minutes to even get in. Cindy's throwing up, we're just like, like, it was just, it was just too much. So, we get in there, and then we're the only black people there. Like, it's a group full. Um, my friend, they had already left, so it was like, just a girl. So, 
for eating. I mean, we're trying to we're trying to eat, and then um, the lady the lady there was a sweetheart. So she sits us down, and she's like, "We'll be with you." It took this the, our server. Matter of fact, the buzz boy came and gave all of us water. Okay, I I don't I personally don't care for juice. Like I'll drink it every now and then, but I like water. So I was okay with that. But then it it took them about 15 to 20 minutes to come to us. But the people that were sitting beside us that just came in was already on their appetizers and stuff. So um, Cindy at this point was getting upset. She was getting upset, so she was like, okay, I'm about to go talk to these people. I'm about to go talk to these people and let them know about themselves. And it wasn't until when she told them about themselves, that's when they decided that they wanted to feed us. Okay, like we're here for like, we're doing you a service. You're getting our money, so why are you taking forever to give us food? Okay, so we get our food, and like the food is dis like it wasn't disgusting. The pancake tasted like it was a um, a cake mix. You know the the things that you buy, and then you just like it looked like they ran out of pancake mix and got cake mix. It tasted like cake, and that was just weird to me. But yeah, so they do. They do that, they take forever, like they just kept taking forever to come see us. So then it got to the point where we had to go and tell the manager like, yo, this is not making sense. That everybody around us who was there after us are getting fed and we're not even ordering that much stuff. And mind you, it, it was like bigger parties than us. So it really wasn't making any sense. To so this, I'm gonna put the description down, but I made sure to get their um, information, their little pamphlet, so I could let everybody know. Like they were so rude to us. Maybe there's stuff I can't remember, but I remember that they were rude to us. Anyway, so we get home and then I write a, I write a snap and the snap had nothing to do with Tiffany. It had nothing to do with Tiffany, but she, for some reason, thought that it had something to do with her. So Tiffany hits me up on some long paragraph, and she basically tells me that I'm a diva, I'm a drama queen, I'm this and I'm that. I've never, ever, ever said I'm not a spoiled brat. I know that I'm a spoiled brat. I, it's, it's terrible. I know, but I've, I'm not unappreciative I've never been a person that's unappreciative you could freaking get me a rock as long as you did it out of the kindness of your heart I'm going to love that rock that's just how I am because of the way that I was brought up and how I wasn't like I didn't get anything so anything I do get I appreciate it but yeah so she basically to me it felt like she was coming for me because she didn't want to take responsibility responsibility for what she did and so that pissed me off even more but we got into it and at this point right now our friendship we i we i i don't know where we stand at this point to be honest with you guys but um yeah so that's basically what happened my weekend was kind of ruined i got in arguments with people that meant the world to me and it I my friendships are strained and I guess at this point it's like a building block you get to find out what is a breaking point for a friendship you know like you get to like certain situations like that help you to know are you going to keep these friends or are you going to lose these friends at this point I don't know what's gonna happen with me and Tiffany I don't no, I mean, I love her to death. I still love her to death. Nothing but respect for her. But the way things came about, it was nothing but pure disrespect on both parties. So, yeah, and I take responsibility for what I've done. And I just hope that she takes responsibility for what she did. And I can't really go into full details because, you know, some things you got to keep private. But I wanted y'all to know why there was so much footage that wasn't seen. But, yeah, basically my birthday got ruined but I mean at the end of the day the parts that were great the ones that y'all saw in the vlogs it was amazing and I had such an amazing time and I thank my friends so much for doing the things that they did for me to make my birthday my 22nd birthday the best birthday that it could be so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed part one um hope you guys enjoyed this one you know but yeah stay tuned I'm pretty sure I have more drama in my life for y'all or not <laughs> but you guys have a fantastic day. 
enjoy your friends, love your friends, keep them around, because you never know. You never know. All right. <laughs>